I'm just joined teams. Hi, Patricia, how are you? Welcome. I'm not sure whether you can hear me or not. Give me a thumbs up if you can. If you just don't want to be on the video, that's fine. But please let me know if you can hear me or not. Thank you so much. All right, so why I'm even writing, I'm just thinking, speak, right? Um, we'll just wait for a few more seconds, maybe. And then I'll just jump on to our painting today. Will you be painting with me today or just want to watch while I paint? Okay, it seems like people may join later. I think I will start on the painting stuff. And in the meantime, if you want to join, um, I would like to watch and try to paint too. Oh, wow, nice. That's great. Okay, so let's just start on. Um, I'll just give you a little introduction. First of all, hello and welcome to this Creative uh, Wednesday weekly session. And uh, my name is Disha. I am a artist. I'm an artist, illustrator, and service pattern designer. I primarily work with watercolors most of the times, but sometimes I work with gouache and sometimes on Procreate. Depends on what kind of work I'm working on. But watercolors is my primary medium of um, illustration and if you follow me on instagram or if you have seen my website you will see that i love painting botanicals and food a lot so um i had been doing a little bit of live videos on instagram lately and i found that it's like people really respond well to that and they want to connect uh to creative people like uh, this session so this idea came to my mind that i should do something like that so I'll just um, change the screen and we'll just write away, um, jump into the painting, okay? So we'll just start over, okay? Mm -hmm. So not sure whether you are a beginner or, I don't know why it does giving me this. I'm trying to actually record this and All right, yeah. Okay, so uh, the materials that we'll be using are simple watercolor paper. The paper that I'm using for today is Canson Excel cold press paper. And this is a student grade paper, but its quality is very, very nice. And the weight of the paper is 300 GSM. The paints that I'll be using are just a mix of a few paints that I already have in my palette. So some of the paint, like I'll just show you. Uh, this is permanent rose from Winsor and Newton. And this one is some red from M Grams and some of the yellows. So I don't have the exact names of these paints for now, but if you want, I can send you the list of the uh, paint names if you are interested in that. And sap green and olive green. And we'll be mixing a little bit of yellow in the cream uh, for the stem and leaves. And I'll be using one jar of water. People recommend using two jars, but I always go with one jar most of the time, especially when I'm painting small pieces with watercolors. The reason being is um, if you're painting with watercolors and it's not a very large piece, in that case, it doesn't get really very muddy. But, and the second reason is that I am very clumsy and I tend to you know, spill water a lot. So that is why I use a very small jar of paint. Then uh, I'll be using these two brushes for today. One is silver black velvet 
size six and another one is any you know this is a king guard supply some uh, long longer bristol max round brush and it's a very thin and a longer brush for uh, finer details all right and if you need you can use a needle eraser or any any eraser that you have and a paper towel to dab on the excess amount of water and paint so i'll start um, i already created this uh, the sketch over here. The reason was because I just wanted to cover the whole painting in this 30 minute session. So if you are not comfortable with that, I can provide you the line sketches. Just let me know in the chat if you would like to have a line a drawing, I, I can send you that too. All right, so we'll start with the petals here. And if you need time to sketch, you can just go with one petal at a time while I'm painting and that would be fine. You can sketch it out as we are painting because it's not a very complicated painting. All right, so I'm just wetting the brush and we'll wet the paint. And for the paint, for the first layer, what I'll do is I'll take very watery pink here. This is permanent rose. And what I normally do is for florals, I take very light shades and add a little bit of red, let's say, and a touch of yellow, which makes it more interesting. But if you want, you can just go with one shade only. That is fine. And you can see that the paint is very watery here. I'll just remove some of the pencil marks. I hope you can see what I'm doing on the screen. So uh, I'm starting with very pale wash of paint like so. If, I'm, if I had been using um, very high quality artist grade paper, in that case, I would have started with um, wet on wet, but this paper is not really very professional. So I try not to do a lot of wet on wet, on wet technique on this paper. You can see. And I'm just cleaning my brush because I don't want a lot of paint here. So I'm just cleaning the brush, dabbing it on the towel, and then just pulling that paint that is already on the paper towards the bottom of this petal, like so. And using the tip of the brush. I would like to have this area a little bit of whiter instead of having some pink shade here. I hope you got the <clears throat> reference image in the email. So you can just refer to that. We don't have to exactly paint exactly just like we see in the reference image, but at the end, we should recognize what we have painted. So that is what, what exactly is realism in paintings. All right, so this petal is done. I'll jump, out, jump over to the next petal. For that, uh, I'll try to avoid the petals which are touching this wet petal for now until this is completely dry. So what I'll do is I'll come over to this one, this on the right-hand side. And just picking up the extra graphite. And if you have any questions, you can just put them in the chat or you can um, put your audio on and we can chat. We can talk while we are painting. Hello. <laughs> can you hear me? Uh, yeah, just one moment. I think I need to, yeah, I can hear you. Okay, great. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yes. Do you have any question? Uh, not for now. I'm just trying to accompany you. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. I really appreciate <laughs> that. It's like sometimes um, this kind of work is uh, feels like very lonely. So uh, in the recent you know, weeks, I was feeling like I need to connect with more uh, creative people. So that is why I thought of starting these sessions. Yeah, that, that's a really good idea. <laughs> yeah. 
So do you paint with watercolors? Uh, I've tried them before, uh, okay. but, uh, but I'm really a beginner and I, I don't know um, mm -hmm. the techniques behind it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, it can, but, it can seem a little scary at the start, but honestly speaking, once you get used to it, you will just mm -hmm. stick to this medium. <laughs> Okay. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think it's really beautiful. That's why I, I was interested in, in trying and because yeah. you make such beautiful watercolors. Uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> it's always like it's very meditative, honestly speaking. Yeah. So I'm just uh, like I just covered this pedal. Now I came over to this one. Mm -hmm. So I'm just trying to jump over from one petal to another petal and okay. trying not to touch the two wet petals at one time. So, yeah. because watercolor will flow and the colors will merge into each other and it will be a little messy. So I'm just yeah. being very, very careful. And you can see like uh, the amount of paint is very less that I'm using on my brush, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. I would have never thought to like jump from petal to petal so that the water wouldn't. Yeah, it makes to yeah. totally sense. Yeah. So I'm just checking with my uh, finger, like mm -hmm. I'm lightly touching it to see if it is wet, but it's okay. not. So we'll just start over on this one. I just wanted to keep it a very short video. Um, what what do you can say like session mm -hmm. yeah so that's why i just picked up this flower it's it's very easy to paint and even draw yeah so if you would like to join like every week or maybe in future anytime mm -hmm. you can yeah i'll i'll share the link again okay great um, thanks <laughs> yeah so i'm trying to do it every wednesday mm -hmm. but yeah, I don't know whether uh, people will be interested in that or not, but yeah, I'll keep I'll, on I'll, doing it. <laughs> yeah, I, will, I would love to, to try more times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll try to uh, save them and record these videos if possible, because I'm very new to um, Zoom and I'm just trying my best, you know, mm -hmm. to record and I'll put them somewhere if you can, uh, you can watch them later if you want. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I'll just leave it like that only for now. Mm -hmm. And now I'll pick up my greens. So okay. I should have actually added some water beforehand we started this session because the paints are really dry today. It's very dry here. In terms of uh, the weather? Yeah, it's, it's very hot. Yeah. Where are you located at? Uh, I'm in Portugal. Portugal, oh my yes. god, wow. <laughs> and it's also very hot here too. Oh wow, it's kind of like the weather is too hot in some areas of the world, you know? Yeah, it, it came very fast this year. Yeah, all right, so I'm taking very watery paint here again, and mm -hmm. you can see that I'm just pulling it very gently and leaving a little white space between these two. Okay. It's so nice to have, you know, online facilities. This technology has made it so easy to connect with people all around the world. Yeah, th that's I true. I was thinking you were in US. <laughs> and yeah, it's a surprise. Yeah, in another country, actually. Yeah. Uh, country, uh, I, was, I didn't mean country, I meant um, continent, sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. See, it's very easy, you know, we can yeah. just pull the color down and that's it. And similarly, we'll go with the petals. Mm -hmm. And this time I can actually, uh, I'm not too worried about, you know, uh, getting this paint merged into the petals because this is how I want it to be. Mm -hmm. So I'll just pull this paint just like this. And create this shape very gently. Now I just pulled it too far, but that's okay. There's another petal. And do the same thing on the other leaf. 
So what time is it at your place? Uh, now it's four in the afternoon, four, four fifteen. Oh, okay, okay, that's not bad. I thought <laughs> it's late. <laughs> right no it's it it's a perfect timing <laughs> yeah and this time is good for you but at least yeah mm -hmm. and for me also like after done having my breakfast i'm you know in the zone of painting and mm -hmm. this time is perfect it's a good way to begin begin the the day, the day. <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay so for now we'll leave it like that and we'll mm -hmm. come back to this battle okay Again, the same thing, taking watery paint. And sometimes what happens is, as you can see, that petal was very small and I added a lot of water, mm -hmm. if you can see. It's kind of a puddle. So in case it happens, like sometimes, like if you're a beginner, people tend to add a lot of water on paper and it becomes, like it turns into blooms and the, it doesn't feel good. So what you mm. can do is either you can use a paper towel or just a dry brush and oh. roll it over. Okay. So the brush will actually drink all the water for you. <laughs> okay, that's that's a good advice. I, I actually put too much water on the first first petal. So oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so it's you can either use a paper towel or you can yeah. use a dry brush and just roll it over gently, and it will suck it out all yeah. the extra amount of water I, I, it eventually just dried out <laughs> oh okay. but now i know now i know what yeah, I should next, have time, <laughs> next time you know what to do yeah, yeah. exactly so yeah. now we have these petals dried up so mm -hmm. i'll start on with another layer and now what i'll do is i'll take a little more saturated paint not too much but just a little more than our first okay. layer that's too much yellow. Okay, I think it's too saturated. Okay, so I'll try to keep the top of the flower uh, of the petal a little darker, mm -hmm. and then we'll start pulling the same this paint towards the bottom. Okay. Okay, so I will wash the brush and then damp it and then oh, I see. just pull that paint downwards like this. So where did you uh, find the link to the Zoom uh, through my email or on Instagram or where? It, it was on Instagram. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. That's great. I thought people don't um, really come to Instagram anymore because I don't know. I don't see many people are interacting these days. I feel yeah. like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now this petal is wet, so we'll leave it alone for now. Mm -hmm. And then jump over to the next one. So now this petal on the right hand side is like it's behind this petal. So it it has to be a little darker than others. So for okay. this, I will take more saturated paint. And especially the area or the side of this petal on the left hand side, which is actually touching this, uh, this petal uh, on the mm -hmm. left, it has to be darker because of the shadow. You can imagine like the flowers are folding on each other. Mm -hmm. So some areas need to be very dark and some will be very light yeah, it makes, right? makes sense. so i just made a line over here and now mm -hmm. i'll rinse the brush dab it on the paper and then just um smudge this line like this and pull this extra towards the outer side of this petal okay okay just making it a little lighter so you can see that i'm just using um dry brush to make the petal lighter wherever I think it needs to be lighter than I painted. Okay, looks good. So <clears throat> now I think this one is still wet. So we'll come out to the leaves 
and I'll take a little darker paint than before. And then I'll start with such lines. And uh, what kind of paints or supplies you're using right now? Um, I normally uh, go for uh, uh, color pencils and oh, okay. um, nice. uh, graphite. Uh, oh, or, wow. um, but, but lately I've been doing more digitally. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like to paint, but, but um, I, I think I lack a lot of technique. <laughs> so yeah. I need to, to learn more and improve. Mm -hmm. Right. Even I try to switch to my Procreate for my illustrations. I do sometimes, but honestly, I don't really enjoy it as much as I paint on, like I enjoy this it's traditional work. This is more yeah. fun. I, I can so thinking, imagine it must be very different, like the, the result. Yeah, it is. And you can tell uh, looking at the piece that it was made on a digital tool or it was made by hand, so which is what. Mm -hmm. And the feel that you get with, you know, traditional painting, we cannot get with digital tools, that's for sure. Ah, uh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, you know, randomly making such streaks using, sometimes I'm taking darker tone of green and sometimes I'm taking the tone. And now I'm just uh, rubbing this dry brush just to make that texture in okay. the leaves. Yeah. Just one minute. Let me check. If someone else is there. Okay. All right. I think we are. We just have a few more minutes. I think 10 or 15 minutes. So we'll just finish it up. The problem is, I don't have a premium account with Zoom right now because I was just trying. So I think they just give. 40 minutes max, if you have any yeah, idea yeah, about it. That's true. Yeah, so I'm just trying to cover that. So you, you just saw that I um, added some paint on the top and just pulled mm -hmm. the paint towards the bottom, like so. And same thing I'm gonna do on the other petals. like so, and we'll just do a little bit of color here. Since I'm not adding a lot of water here, so it's okay because mm -hmm. as I mentioned before, I try to keep the petals away from, you know, uh, other mm -hmm. wet petals, but this one is fine. And now what I'll do is if you just imagine that this petal is overlapping the second one. So there has mm -hmm. to be a line which will create like a, uh, what do you say? A shadow or a mm -hmm. division between the two. So for that, I'll just use a little darker pink over here. Okay. Just to give it a form. And then rubbing the dry brush just to make this edge a little soft, like this. Now it makes sense. And now I'm just taking, you can see that I am not even using a lot of water, just a touch of water and most of very light pale paint. And using the tip of the brush, I'll just uh, make lines just to give the texture mm -hmm. Of the petals, yeah. Oh, yeah, of the petals, like this. I'm not using the right brush. I'll just fix it up. 
for this actually i was about to use this brush a longer brush uh, if you have a liner that. brush yeah a thin brush so that that will work better this gives a nice touch to it <laughs> yeah you can make very thin lines with this one like this Same with the other petals. And here also, I think we need to add a little darker shade on the end. Mm -hmm. Okay, in here, because it was not very prominent. So I'm just adding some dark paint wherever I think it needs to be a little mm -hmm. prominent. And then I'll use the wet brush or oh, just water, watery brush. Not too watery, just clean brush, I would say. A damp, clean brush. And pull that paint and make it softer. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of technique. Oh, I hope um, it was helpful. <laughs> Yeah, a lot. I'm just trying to to do my best. <laughs> yeah, yeah, keep trying. You will definitely oh, get better results with practice. I was always afraid of watercolors when I started. Yeah. And same thing I'm going to do with the leaves. Taking a little darker paint and making these lines. And um, when I'm painting like botanicals for professionally, like uh, commercially or for exhibitions, in that case, I use different uh, paper. But mm -hmm. for today's demo, like it was a very short one and just wanted to make it very fun and easy for everyone. So I'm using this paper. So right now, which paper are you using? Uh, it's a blog from Canson. Canson, Can okay. Canson. yeah, mm -hmm. uh, the one that is mixed media. Okay. So it's, I don't think it's great paper, but I think it's okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just to start, it's, it's a nice paper, I would say. So um, I think this thing is done right now. We can still mm -hmm. add a little bit of paint on the leaf behind. I just finished all the paint in my palette. And that's it, I guess. And once it is dry, you can then, like when the painting is completely dry, then you can come back and see if you want to add more lines. You can still like use colored pencils if you're um, more comfortable with that. And then, you know, add some more dimension and more, um, what do you say? Uh, details using colored pencils or any other uh, medium that you are more comfortable with but this is the like very very basic um, painting that you can do with watercolors and mm -hmm. if you have any questions you can ask away um yeah just one um, thing yeah go ahead no no i was just uh, thinking like mm -hmm. uh, in the recap it's like we give the first layer like a light I'll just give layers. you the recap yeah that's a good idea I started with the sketch very light sketch and then I started mm -hmm. with one petal at a time and I okay. used very very pale wa watery paint and then I uh, covered one petal I started from the top of the petal and then pulled that watery paint towards the uh, bottom mm -hmm. then I left it and we we'll started with the next petal but the petal which is not exactly touching the wet petal just keep in mind because we don't want the paint to merge and to mix great <laughs> blooms. Yeah. yeah so i painted this one and while these were drying then i started with the same technique with the stem and the leaves and we are not using any wet on wet technique here because the paper is not very high grade if you are using very high 
uh, quality paper in that case, you can start with wet on wet, but it's fine for now. And then we started on other petals and then we did another layer with the same technique, mm -hmm. but a little more of paint than the, uh, we used in the first layer. So this is how we painted. And in case you get more puddles or accidentally add more water or paint on paper, you can simply use either the paper towel or a dry brush and just roll it over on that area. It will just pick up or lift up extra amount of paint and pigment. Mm -hmm. And at the end, we in the last layer, we used a thin brush, a liner brush, and just created these textured lines. And that's it. We're okay. done. <laughs> yeah. So it was nice meeting you, Patricia. If, yeah, um, you too. Yeah. And uh, I would like to meet you on Instagram. I don't know your handle. If you want, you can just leave it. Um, or you can DM me on Instagram. I would oh, love to well, follow I think, you. I think we already follow each other because it was from the um, Creative Coffee Morning. Oh, OK. OK. Yeah. All right. That's great. <laughs> That's great. All right, then. Thank you so much for joining. Um, I'll send you, if you have any ideas or any recommendations that you would like me to uh, demonstrate in the next sessions, let me know uh, okay. if you would like to, you know, instead of going with watercolors, we can also do gouache. I can also uh, give tips on Procreate and even Photoshop too. So oh, okay. whatever is of your interest, let me know. That, and share amazing. with your friends. <laughs> if they're interested, I would love yeah, to have course. more people. Yeah. Of course. Thank I you. Will. Thank you so thank, much. This, thank this you. Have really, a, really awesome. <laughs> thank you. Have a good one. Bye-bye. You too. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you. Bye.